welcome back to my channel today is going to be a very quick video again we know that i love quick videos but it is an unboxing slash haul of a brand new brand for me um the brand is telfar and it is a black owned luxury brand um it's been in existence since about 2005 i have been trying to get my hand on one of these bags for a while i still actually have not gotten my hand on the bag that i really really want which i will show you um so that anybody can let me know when it drops again because i missed two drops of the bag um anyway it's a very popular brand i believe it became really super popular um, well, it became popular on Twitter and then became really super popular once Beyonce wore the bag. And these bags are made of vegan leather. Um, and I also got some accessories to go along with it. So let me show you what I got. So the first piece that I am going to show is this vegan leather hat that I purchased. This is the hat. Very plain and simple. Here is the tag the say telfar and it was established in 2005 it is an nyc company the hat came with the cute dust bag this is the logo you may, you may have seen this logo even if you weren't aware of the brand but yes i am a hat person i absolutely love hats in all shapes and colors and sizes this actually has a Velcro snap. And I'm actually not feeling my hair today, so we're just gonna keep this on. So yes, this is perfect, you know, when I wanna just run out and run some errands. This could even go with a cute, cute outfit um, when your hair is not dead. But yes, little vegan leather cap plain simple and keep it pushing i will put prices in the description i want to say that this is about 90 dollars, but i'm not exactly sure again i will put all prices in the description and we're off to the next item. not only did i get a cap but i also got a wool hat again like i said i am a wool hat person this is perfect to just throw on and go actually let's see i think i'm gonna put this one on instead oh it's perfect keep your ears warm perfect for the winter this may be part of um the collaboration that they had they've had a few collaborations and so this may be part of the ug collaboration that they did um there's really nothing different it's just the logo on the hat and works for me now, something that I did get that is definitely part of the UGG collection are some leggings. And they just have the Telfar and UGG logo in the front. Looks like men's underwear here. <laughs> and then another UGG logo here with the Telfar logo in the middle. Plain black leggings. I can't have enough. And in this box, I did purchase a belt. They have two sizes in the belt. I purchased the extra small, small, even though I am not, I don't have a really teeny tiny waist. The measurements just seem that it would work for me. So definitely gonna try this on. It's in a cute little dust bag. And take this out. And it is in plastic. Again, we have the Telfar logo. Plain little belt. Looks like it's going to fit. And last but not least, I did purchase a mini bag. The bags come in small, medium, and large. This is the small bag size. I'll put the dimensions in the description as well. And it is a crossbody bag. So once I take this tape off, 
I'll be able to put it all the way across my body. It's just a really, really cute piece. This color is called eggplant. They have so many different colors, but it seems like almost everything is out of stock. This season, they have been adding different colors on different days. Um, and so it's just a really cute plain bag. It has a button and no pocket inside. But it's just really cute. It's a great way to support black business and be on style with the trend. Um, again, it has been out for a while and I'm just now getting my hands on it. Um, I am very, very much interested in the collaboration that they did with Moose Knuckles. And it is a puffy bag, a puffer bag that they have that I have not been able to get my hands on. So I'll show a picture of that and that puffer bag is all that I need from Telfar for me to be satisfied and happy with my purchases and to be done with purchasing from them for now. Um, and a lot of people have been talking about the vegan leather and the prices for it. This bag, I believe, was $150, um, which is a little pricey, I would say, for vegan leather and for the size of the bag. But that is kind of just the nature of the beast nowadays. I have you know, a Prada hat that's nylon that was $600. So um, I just don't know that they should be dragged for the prices that they've decided to mark their items at because, you know, um, that's just the way of the world. That's business. That's what it is. You like it, you purchase it, you don't, you don't. But it just is kind of hurtful sometimes when, you know, people of color are dragged for the items that they put a lot of work into. And it takes a lot of work to produce and, you know, they get dragged for the amount of money that they have decided to charge for it. But anyway, what I will do is I will try everything on and I will show you guys what it all looks like. coming back to my channel thank you for coming to my channel for the first time if this is your first time i do ask that you like or subscribe or comment or all three whatever your heart does desire i do thank you for taking your time to watch this video and i hope that you have found value in this video uh thank you see you guys soon